Hi Tubes, this is Redneck Garage here. Today, um, we're gonna do the video that I promised we would do a couple videos ago. How to wire a five wire rocker switch. Okay, remember the videos I did with the lights and stuff on the side by sides? These are the switches I bought. And what I found was for my particular application, uh, their wiring is a little bit wrong. Only reason, because this says, hopefully you can see that, this wire here where it jumps to this wire, okay, there's pin numbers here, pin 2 and pin 6 jump together with a little jumper, it comes with this. And it says 2 battery, and then pin 3 is 2 to light, and then pin six and seven is jumped together and it goes to ground. There's one problem with that. Whenever you hook it up to battery and to your light, this switch lights up and it stays lit up. What's gonna happen whenever you store your side by side, your boat, your truck, whatever, when you're not using it, now the switch is lit up. It's going to drain your battery. Now, probably not going to drain a whole lot because it's LEDs. But it still should not be on. It still should not be putting a drain on your battery. The only other way around that would be to wire this into an ignition wire. So when you turn the ignition on, your switch is activated. Now these switches will hold up to a 20 amp circuit but you can't go wiring a bunch of switches into your ignition circuit you just can't do that no way jose it's not good you don't want to do it just don't do it so <clears throat> what i found and there's multiple ways that we're going to go over this we're going to do five wire and we're doing eight, seven, two, three, six. Okay. <clears throat> Instead of having the jumpers on two and six, you want to have the jumper from two and six over to six and three. So you're going to jump these guys. Okay. And then you're gonna have this and then these are still gonna be jumped on, on eight and seven for ground. And then this one here is still gonna be battery, number two. And then the light this one's still gonna go to light. Okay? The essential thing is you're moving this jumper down one. And then you're still gonna wire this wire into your light and you're gonna wire this wire which is gonna be moved up here in the middle row on number pin two to your battery. Now that, your switch won't light up like it's supposed to because these switches, and we'll get into this in a minute, these switches are designed to be the lights turned on when your headlights or your dash lights are turned on, okay? We'll get to that in a second. But whenever you do it just like the way I just showed you, the switch lights will turn on when you flip the switch on, okay? So the lights will still work, but if it's at night and your headlights are on and your switch is off, it's not going to be lit up, okay? There's a way to fix that, though. All right. We're going to do these again. Eight, seven, two, three, six. This one right here. This one right here goes to your LEDs. This ground right here goes to your LEDs. There's two LEDs in this rocker. There's 
an LED that illuminates the switch and then whenever you flip the switch there's an LED that shows that it's on okay these are ground you can uh, ground them anywhere you want to the battery the chassis as long as the chassis is grounded you can ground them to your radio if you got a ground on your radio you can ground them anywhere they're just powering LEDs it doesn't matter <clears throat> okay so this jumper wire you're gonna get rid of that jumper okay and you're gonna have number two goes to battery number three will go to your light okay this one will go to ignition wire ignition on wire or if you can find it and track it down it can go to the wire that turns your dash lights on or dash lights okay or any wire like if you have a factory switches like I do in my CF moto that I wired these into which I wired it up this way when I did the video just to make it simple and easy because not all of you have a CF moto that you're wiring in so I just want to show basic I have other dash switches that the lights come on whenever I turn my lights on you can go back and you can use an ohm meter or a test light and test each wire and figure out which one turns those switch lights on and then wire it into pin six on this the switch here most all these rocker switches are the same pin they're pinned out the same basically so with that being said the proper way to hook the absolute proper way to hook up this switch is not by this diagram it's this way that I explained and we'll go over it again okay pin 8 pin 7 pin 2 3 6 we're going to jump the ground we're gonna go off into space ground that wire anywhere you can ground it anywhere and this one's gonna go off into space to the battery battery plus this one is gonna go off to your light your radio whatever it is that you're activating with this switch this switch is good 420 amp with that being said right here's your battery wire okay we're gonna ignore this we're gonna continue this battery light wire on to the battery but we're gonna right here's a battery okay battery post post plus negative okay right here you're gonna want a inline fuse always fuse it at the battery as close to the battery as you can get it always have a fuse there because if this wire gets pinched or shorted it will blow that fuse but if you have the fuse all the way up here at your switch and it gets pinched or shorted here guess what it's gonna do it's gonna cause a fire and then you're gonna be pissed off at yourself so don't do that do it as close to the battery as possible or you can do like a lot of people do and you can put in a fuse block a distribution block with where you can hook four things up to a lot of these blocks have fuses okay and you can run because it's gonna have one main positive wire you can run all the way here but if this block say each fuse is 20 40 60 80 20 20 20 20 that's 80 so you're going to want to put an 80 amp fuse 
as close to the battery as possible. Okay? As close to the battery as possible. And then instead of running this to the battery fused, you can just cross this out. We didn't even do this. And you can run it to your fuse block. You understand? You following me? Now that we got that taken care of, this ground wire don't need to be fused. This wire doesn't need to be fused. This goes to your light or your radio or uh, your horn or whatever you want it to go to, to power. This switch can handle 20 amps. If it cannot handle 20 amps, then what you're gonna wanna do is put in a relay on this wire that goes to the device that you're powering. So essentially, you would power the relay and the relay would carry the extra current on up and over. A relay is a whole different uh, ball game that we can get into on another video. And then pin six, See, it says lower light positive, upper light negative, lower light negative, lower light positive, okay? The on light, the on LED comes on when you turn the switch on, so it won't be on. We're just worried about this lower light, pin six. That, like I said, that'll go to your ignition whenever you turn your ignition on. That doesn't draw hardly crap. You can probably hook up 700 switches. You know what I'm saying? Not just being goofy but realistically you could hook up a lot of switches just to run the LED light off of your ignition okay there's your key your ignition okay I hope that clears everything up for you guys because I know there's a lot of questions and I don't like this wire diagram this wire diagram is bullshit and it's retarded now, they also give you the wire diagram for a six or a seven post switch. I don't know. I haven't uh, went over this, but I'm sure it's probably bullshit too. Okay. Don't go buy this crap. These switches are nice switches. By all means, they are. And they, they actually come with nice little wires. They're not half bad. They're nice and thick. They're nice and strong. Uh, what gauge are they? I want to say 16 gauge. I'm sorry. No, these are 20 gauge. I'd rather see 16 on here, but a 20 amp load, 20 gauge, it, it should be okay. And they got decent little terminals on here. I cut these terminals off. These ones are okay because they're cased. But I cut these terminals off whenever I installed it and put my own terminals on. <clears throat> these switches are pretty good for the money and the quality seem they nice and clicky and they don't feel cheap. They actually feel really nice. They're heavy for what they are, even without the wire on them. So, um look at that it bled through oh boy do i got a mess on my table whoops it'll clean off its glass i didn't even think about it bleeding through let's use more than one sheet more than one sheet my bad bro so i wanted to go over that and i want to say i appreciate uh you guys using my links i appreciate all the subscribers I'm getting um, I haven't checked but I think we're well past 20k views now um, that's good I like the some of the feedback I'm getting the comments the likes even some of the rude comments I like those too because it entertains me and it's a comment so keep up the good work and keep up the bad work I don't care I just ignore some of them fucktards and uh let you guys the rest of you guys handle them we even seen a couple that deleted their comment because they were butt hurt um always have butt hurt people on youtube 
butt hurt ass fucking butt hurt fuckers. Um. Anyway, I want to say thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And before you go, we'll kind of go over our relay circuit. I don't have a relay here in front of me to show you the pin outs and the pin ins. But if you take this switch, you take this switch here, this diagram is bullshit here. You take this switch, we got our ground, we got our battery. That'll go directly to battery or don't forget your fusible link to the battery. Okay. And this one will go to your your light bar. Okay. This one. Whoops. Cancel that light bar. Cancel this. We'll go over here to your relay. Now, your relay will have battery power going to it. It'll have a ground going to it. It'll have your switch input going to it. And then it'll have the output going to your light bar or whatever it is that you're powering that requires a relay. Okay? And then this, we'll just say you're wiring it into your ignition. Alright? A hell of a looking key right there buddy okay we'll just say that's ignition ground battery and we'll say this is relay R for relay and then the out it'd be your light remember a relay a lot of relays are four pin five pin whatever I prefer the four pin they're much 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 easier to use Okay, so <clears throat> you have your battery power, your switch power, your ground, and then your light. And the ground is uh, necessary. You don't need a heavy duty ground. You really don't for a relay. Um, you need a good ground, but you don't want to ground it to some little tiny wire. But let's say 16 gauge, even you know for in, just about any size relay 16 gauge of work would be perfect might even be overkill in some cases but you want to worry about your heavy gauge wires going to the relay when it comes from the battery and to the object you're powering so if we're powering this light you definitely want a 14 gauge to 16 gauge wire we'll just say a 300 watt light um, I would go with 14 gauge to the light, 14 gauge from the battery, and make sure the power that's coming from the battery always want a fuse. Always want a fuse. Always, always, always fuse your shit. Okay? Trust me always want to fuse I can't stress that enough don't half ass hook up something nobody likes that kind of workmanship nobody fuse that shit will ya fuse it hook it up right use decent wire use decent switches I mean these are cheap they seem like they're pretty good so they're, they're, they're like 10, 11 bucks a piece. So they're not cheap, cheap, cheap. And they're good for 20 amps. So that's perfect for powering a little tiny head unit. You know, like a car radio. That's perfect for that. It's perfect for powering a relay. To, you only need like a freaking 2 amps to power a relay. If that. Um, but yeah. So... One thing I wanted to say before I forget
Run that garage out. Peace. Any questions? Hit me up.